companies that are just off limits for you guys. I never see uh, uh, you coming in on a tech company, uh, even though they're tech companies that are loaded with cash. Uh, it would seem like the managements aren't that strong. Just not something you want to do? When you put 10, 15, 20% of your assets in a business, you want it to be an incredibly robust, stable, predictable business. And the problem with technology is most technology companies are too dynamic. I mean, you wake up and there's a couple guys in a garage, a block from Stanford University, a couple women in a garage, and they're starting a new business that's disruptive. And I think, you know, if you look at the kind of businesses that I think both of us like, we like businesses that withstand, can withstand the test of time, technology, Commodity, I mean, I'm not a, I try to stay away from things where an extrinsic factor I can't control, whether exactly. it's commodity prices, interest rates, we doesn't like, have a material effect. We like businesses, effect. and I think it speaks to the bill as well, that sort of have moats around them. Okay. Okay, and technology is one that isn't. We, we have three verticals that we like, everything consumer, financials that we call financials without balance sheets, because we don't understand them, and then industrials, backslash chemicals, businesses that we've been in in our career, okay. operate in those businesses.